first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Ahawa, Bahashim, the Awashai, Bahashim, Rakakudash. <clears throat> want to give double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and say peace, mercy, and blessings, you know, salutations to the hopeful elect out there. All right. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is to deliver. Okay. And we are the brothers of the GMS Solomon Assembly Camp. You know, we're just doing a uh, quick sit down live together in the spirit. You know, we pray that this be edifying. You know, we just had our, our, our Passover. We are officially in our new year of the Hebrew calendar. All right. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is completely turning things up. Right. The so called white man. According to the Bible, he's Esau, um, I, uh, Adawam, or Shashua. He's the devil. Okay? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Latin Hispanics. All right? We are the true Israelites, people of the Bible, the Hebrews, according to the scriptures, man, according to Bible prophecy. All right? Got the article, brother? Yep, I got it for you. Okay. <clears throat> and anything more brothers want to add, you know? Yeah, no, we was just uh, we was just loading up this the spiritual arsenal for you. Beautiful. So uh, right here on um, soon shit's gonna hit the fan plan. Right. Uh, uh, Ocho, eight extremely unusual events that will happen during the month of April. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says number one, as we enter the month of April, <clears throat> the devil's comment has become visible to the naked eye in the Northern Hemisphere. Right, so there's a lot of signs going on in the heavens right now, man. You know, what does the scripture say? It says, lift up your heads, all right? Because all of this, all of these, it's just like the, the saying, you know, April showers, May flowers. Well, that's signs of what? Summer coming. So all of these signs in the heavens, chariot sightings, you know, different nations introducing their biometric system, more and more talks of the, of the, of the uh, you know, the rice device, these are signs of the end of an age, Esau's age, and the ushering end of Yahweh Shai's everlasting kingdom with the elect. Okay? I got a precept for you. Yes. This is Matthew 16, uh, GMS red letter. Matthew 16 and um, 1, the Pharisees also, with the Sadducees, came and tempting desired him, him being Yahweh Shai, that he would shew them a sign from heaven. Yeah. He answered and said unto them, when it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning, it, like right now, uh, we're going to have a Hebrew summit. You know, oh, it's not raining next week, so we can plan this. We can do a Sabbath Saturday, right? They, they can discern that. It says, it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering. Oh, ye hypocrites. Ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the signs of the times. Yeah, and that's these people. They can discern the face of the skies. They can tell you when it's going to rain, you know, when, a good, when it's going to have good weather so they can have a, a Hebrew barbecue. All right. But they can't tell you about the RFID chip, the MOTB. Okay. They can't break down the signs of the heavens to you. A lot of them don't even believe that the chariots are, are in the scriptures, man, of what we say they are. That's you know? true. You you got uh, Alazar, he just uploaded a video yesterday where he told his congregation that the Passover is just the lamb and nothing else. Oh, wow. I got it. I got the recording. He said he said that the, the Passover is, is just the lamb. It's nothing else. So he's telling his people that it's not even about Yahweh Shai. Check this out. Wow. Well, this year, we're getting ready to eat some lamb. Um, as we do every year. That's what the Passover is. People talk about the Passover, but the Passover is that lamb. It ain't nothing else, right? So, so he just, so that's what they don't believe in the uh, Yahweh Shai. Right. You know? and, and him doing that, he's leading, you know, his congregation to the uh, a path of destruction. Exactly. And he got a lot of blood in his fucking hands. Exactly. Because when, when the death angel comes to Passover, mm -hmm. we want to be uh, exempt. Right. So all these signs are like the plagues leading up to the death angel coming. Yes. You know, right. you know, you got him, right? No, I'm sorry. I was just going to add, you know, uh, just like you said, that's signs leading up to the plagues. You know, these are actually plagues. You know, <laughs> April 8th. Nothing else. We're, we're up here in Rochester, New York, right? Okay. Yeah. There, there's, there's expecting 300,000 to 500,000 travelers up here 
to see this damn eclipse, but these people don't understand that they're witnessing a plague. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And if I can add, humbly real quick, um, Esau, he's now saying that uh, if you talk about, like, you know, the, uh, the eclipse that's coming up in the eighth and things of, of that nature, you're not considered a, a, a conspiracy theorist. Wow. Yeah, because he's saying if he's saying if you bring out information about you know the eclipse being judgment basically upon Babylon, then you're a conspiracy theorist. Well, that's because he knows he's going down, so that proves exactly. that it, it is judgment. You know. Hey, I looked up the word plague, and it goes into um, affliction, calamity, mm. evil, and then it also goes into uh, slaughter Ooh. and destruction. Ooh. So is not this a sign? Of the great and terrible destruction of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes. So that sign is also a plague. Right? Yes. So uh, didn't it say I should send plagues upon Egypt as before? That's right. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Can brother get that? Can you get that too, Baba Kasha? Yes, sir. Actually, yep. um, let's hit some more of the article because I kind of want to hit the points, you know, real quick. Okay. But then I say about the fourth sign or thing that's going to happen, we can kind of jump back. Okay. So back in the article. It says um, the second uh, uh, upon it is on April 4th, which is today, yep. there will be an extraordinary alignment of four planets just mm. four days before the great American, great Babylonian eclipse of 2024. Wow. Keep going. That's very true. Uh, number three, on April 8th, the seven other planets in our solar system along with the sun and the moon will appear to form a straight line in the sky when looking from Jerusalem toward the east. Wow. Can I get this real quick? Luke? Yes. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves warring. So it's happened. It said... Uh... What this said, distress upon the nations. Read that yes. again, Bob Kershaw. Yep, Luke 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon, right? And so that's, the stars. Uh, I'm sorry, so that's that's your uh solar eclipse, great Babylonian eclipse, blood moons, lunar moons, and upon the earth, the stress of nations, all pros of the people with right? perplexity. That's right, with perplexity, the sea and the waves warring. Men's hearts filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Right, the powers of heaven are being shaken right now, man. Esau is losing this power. So that's why he that's why they want to ban the, the scriptures. That's why they don't want you to talk about the eclipse, because he understands that these are signs of the end of the end of his age. That's right. You know? And then when your house shot comes back in those chariots, men are gonna drop dead from heart attacks, man. Ooh. Hey, it makes sense why Esau is planning something around this uh, eclipse because it said that seven planets will be aligned. Yeah. yeah. When you when you go into uh, history, um, there's a woman that came out. She's called the astrologer of uh, uh, the U.S. president. Mm. So, so they're going to uh, excuse me, president. So they're going to take advantage of. Of these, um, see, look, White House confirms Reagan's follow astrology in 1988. See, yeah. so you had a woman, um, that was the astrologer for the presidents, and one of them was Reagan, right here, right here. Look, president's astrologer, this chick right here gave a tell all book how she would go in the office and put the president in a certain position depending where the planets aligned, and they would do a seance. Wow, damn. So they're going to be doing something, man. They're going to be doing heavy rituals. You know, just like it's written in Isaiah 47. Stand now with thine enchantments. Hey, check check this out, Marar. Uh, can you see the screen? Yes. Look, how Ronald Reagan's wife... Look at the fucking ads. How Ronald Reagan's wife, Nancy, let her astrologer control the presidency. Wow. wow. Yeah. So what's this... Astrology is what the planets. Yeah. Yep. Even in the serpent, man. Yep. <laughs> so so going back, <laughs> um, which is uh, look in the devil's comet. Yep. Right. You know. Yep. And then now these are planets aligning. It makes sense. He's gonna do something because this is his window of opportunity. Right. right. Yep. Don't they always say that when the planets align? Yeah. 
And then what's the truth about it? So I get. Nah, go ahead, brother. I was going to say, then also too, you know, with that eclipse, I speak as a man. That's you know, but that's another way of Esau too to, uh, to hide in the shadows to get his you know his dirty work done. You know. That's exactly what it's going to do, and also that eclipse is going to bring what darkness for about seven minutes, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And seven is the number of completion. You know, so very dark times are upon this place, man. Mm -hmm. It says uh, on April eighth, the seven other planets in our solar system, uh, along with the sun and the moon, will appear to form a straight line. So now a line's being drawn. So whose side are you on? What did Joshua say? Choose you this day who you will serve. So a line is being drawn in the heavens. Yeah, right. So whose side are you on? And it says in the sky, when looking from Jerusalem toward the east, this was discovered by a friend of mine named Rachel. Oh, Rachel. Oh, uh, uh, didn't Rachel weep? Yep. So that means Jacob's trouble's coming. Yep. Well, the boss wow. named it the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Wow. Let me put that in real quick. Rachel Baxter. Yeah, but let's put that in. Look, so let's put uh, or let's go to Google, and let's put this in. Rachel. Uh, weeping, weeping for her children. Oh wow, Matthew's two and eighteen. A voice is heard in Ramah, weeping in great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted because they are no more. That's Jacob's trouble. Yeah. That's Jacob's trouble. Because back then they made a decree to kill all the Jake babies because Yahweh Shai was born. Now they want to kill all the Jake babies because Yahweh Shai is coming back. Right. Yep. <clears throat> They're trying to stop the elect. It's too late. Wow. Yeah. And that's why they want to put it, you know, that seed inside of you. Well, uh, Emil said it best, right, Marar? Yep. He want to put a chip in me. See, get it, give me yep. an eye. Put it, you know. He's up. Um, uh, oh, here, number four. You're going to like this one, brother. It says, on April 8th, discern is planning to fire up the large Hadron colander. Mm, and guess, remember Remember when that scientist got hit uh, with the particle when they put, when he put his head in the CERN and remember it came back tickle? Yeah, many. <clears throat> Look, message to the elites from CERN, okay? Um, oh, they probably not even gonna let me find it now. They probably took it off. They could have, but there was a, uh, there was a, um, there was a, let me just do this. Message from uh, to the elites. Yeah, they probably took it right off. I'll try to find it, but basically, there's a there's a there's an article where they um they had, they admitted that um that they got hit with a particle and it said tickle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, but I'll keep going. It's no biggie. Take our word for it. Look it up. We have no reason to lie, right? It says the world's largest, most powerful particle accelerator is set to smash protons together on April eighth. That's, that's crazy. That's going to be a heavy day. And then it's all happening on the Monday, which Monday goes back to the worship of the moon. Wow. wow. So this is all, you know, uh, planned by Esau. Also, so, by how about Shema Shai, but Esau, you know, he's, he's the left hand. So, you brothers, know, man, I was going to say, brothers, man, a few sisters, make sure you heavily pray because they're going to do hev heavily spells, which there's no enchantment against Israel anyway, but just. You know, just suspect there's going to be a lot of satanic activity. It says, why in the world would discern choose to do this on April 8th? Exactly. Could we, you, I'm sorry, Karazza, could you get Nahum 3 and 5? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's, that's why they want to do it on April 8th. It's the book of Nahum chapter 3 and verse 5. It says... Behold, I am against thee, said the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will shew the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Wait, I'm sorry. Is that what it said? Call it a mistress of witchcrafts? Oh, Nahum 3 and 4. Oh, 3 and 4. Okay, okay I got you. Excuse me. This is <coughs> Nahum, 3, Nahum 3 and verse 4. It says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the woe favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts. Right, this Babylon is the mistress of witchcrafts, man. You know, all it, it puts out a lot of spells and these other nations drinking up. And from these other nations drinking up that golden cup, 
and they have become mad, and now they don't want nothing to do with this horde, man. And it says that sin of nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. So that's how they came into power, the 13 colonies. That all goes back to witchcraft, man. Mm -hmm. Freemasonry, it's all rooted in witchcraft, Satan worship. I got an article for you. Yes. It says, message to the elites from CERN. Tickle. <laughs> it says, uh, just a wonderful message from William Mount. Seems like the CERN scientist stuck his head in the reactor and got bopped with a particle. <laughs> he got wow. bopped. It said, bop, bop, bop. It says, <laughs> now he is getting multidimensional messages. They think they reached God. They got back one word, tickle. Tickle. And it says, so the message from CERN, you have been weighed. <laughs> so that's it, bro. You've been found wanting. That's it. You know, and your ass and your sins have reached down to heaven. You're guilty, pretty much. With the most that's I it. And, and the scripture says, in Nahum, also in Nahum, the most I would not at all acquit the wicked. Let's get that. Nahum 1 and 3. I'm right there. Uh, Nahum 1 and verse 3. It said 1 and 3, right? Uh, I think so. We could just start oh, at yeah, 2. It's right yeah. here, okay. Nahum 1 and 2, it says, the most high is jealous. It says, and the, I got sorry, 1. The burn of Nineveh. The book of. Oh, oh, oh wait. The burn of the Nineveh. Marar, ain't it going to cross all those cities of Nineveh? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Nine cities wow. of Nineveh. Yep. Spirit. It's going to cross nine cities of Nineveh. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. And it says, uh, the bird of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the Elkoshite. The Most High is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. So they're being reserved right now. Oh, yeah. And guess what? The ultimate reservation is going to be in those bunkers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. They'll be reserved from the fire which is uh, their plan to establish a new world order. And then they're going to be reserved for um, the first fruit of Yahweh Shai, uh, selection of heathen mm. servants and slaves. Mm. Amazing. You got it. Verse three, the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shai is slow to anger and great in power. Right. He's slow to anger because of uh, uh, all Israel to repent, mm -hmm. but that not all Israel is going to repent, but they're given the opportunity to take advantage like we're doing. We're treating the Passover more than just a lamb dinner. Right. We're, we're, we're uh, acknowledging the house of David by showing our, <laughs> our, our, our uh, brotherhood to one another, treating uh, each other as Yahweh Shai commanded. So we're doing the things that we were told to do when Yahweh Shai was on the scene. See? So that's the Lord giving us a chance through us uh, being slow to anger. You got mm -hmm. it. And it says, and will not at all acquit the wicked. So you saw, you're not getting a slap on the wrist, man. <laughs> You're not, you, listen, you're not about to get acquitted. Well, he's about to have that, uh, he about to get sat in that chair like uh, uh, the brains on Brad, and he's going to get that Samuel Jackson talk to. Ooh. I will strike down upon thee with furious anger. Hey. Those that are poison, uh, he said, poison, my brethren. Remember, right. That was a spiritual scene. Yeah, and then yeah. that scene, uh, they had got shot, but it didn't touch her. Yeah. He was quoting Ezekiel, uh, the 25th chapter. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's, that's that links in what I believe Thessalonians stuff. This devil being consumed with the spirit of my mouth. Yeah. You know, the mouth being the prophets of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. He's being consumed. Yep. You know, and that's why and that also ties in with Amos to hate him that rebuke it in the gate. That's why he want to cast some of us into prison, man. Mm. Yep. And he's going to do that because they got all these migrants here, right? Yep. Well, during World War II, the second woe, he cast all the uh, Ammonites in prison because they were waging war against Ammon. Yep. And and they had race riots during the World War II that was against Judah and Ishakar. Yep. yep. So that was all going on in the midst of a world war. What you think will happen in this uh, third woe? What, you just going to be exempt? Right. Jacob's trouble. Right. You know? Go back to the article. Yes. Oh, yeah. Name him. Sorry. Yeah, back in Nahum 1 and 3, and it says, The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Mm, That's right. It. 
<clears throat> was going into the chariots, the second coming of Yahweh Shai, and also these so-called natural disasters that the Most High be bringing, you know? Yeah. Well, that's perfect because we were in Luke 21 about, you said, the failing of men's hearts, you know? Yeah. Okay, so now back in, um, uh, soon shit's going to hit the fan. So number four, uh, discern's going to get fired up. And we already just pulled an article what happened last time they put their head in this discernment, right? Mm -hmm. Last time they lacked discernment. Wow. Right. They found out that the writing was on the wall. Right. Right. So it says, um, uh, five, the most anticipated event in April is the great Babylonian eclipse of 2024. <laughs> and everybody's talking about this eclipse, man. <laughs> you know, you got people in the world that are talking about this. You got your glasses. They don't, they yeah. don't know what the fuck is going on, man. They just think they're going to have a picnic. It's going to be crazy that day. It's the perfect time for, for Esau to do something. For Well, for Yahab Bashem El Shah to make Esau do something because the most is controlling them. Yep, because the planets are aligning. That's what he's, uh, which is Isaiah 47, sitting now with thy enchantments. Right. It says, um, number six, as the eclipse passes over Babylon on April 8th, Nassau will be firing three rockets into the moon's shadow. Oh, my goodness. I, I heard about that. What's that a sign of? The war in heaven? Yeah. So if they're going to fire rockets just for the moon, and the sun aligning, how much more when the sun returns to disrupt your new order of alignment? <laughs> you know? Well, yeah, well, in, in the book of Second Medrus, uh, the GMT says that they're going to fight Yahweh mm -hmm. you know, They're going to, you know, uh, be there to fight against Yahweh Shai. Yep. You know? And then in the movie Don't Look Up, they were shooting at the uh, asteroid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yep. uh, then it says, verse 7, ominously on April 8th, the great Babylonian eclipse will complete the giant X over New Madrid fault zone that the great Babylonian eclipse 2017 began. Wow. And I remember that. I remember being at work that day. I was going out on my break and the eclipse was going on, you know. Wow. <clears throat> but now here we are, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Now it's being completed and X marks the spot right Ooh. on the great horde so that the Mosai can send plagues on the horde. Nuke the whore, all right. Continue to turn up all of the violence. It says, Thus, with violence, shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. I got a quick one for you. Yes, <clears throat> second Ezra is 15 and 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Right, because keep going back in that article. Because what plagues that hit ancient Egypt? The Mosai sent the locusts. The Mosai destroyed their cattle. He sent hell. He sent darkness. You know, there's talks about MP attacks. <clears throat> hell, a couple hours ago, my phone was down, man. Mm. You know? Uh, number eight, during the month of April, the side apocalypse is coming. Cicada. S the water. Cicada apocalypse is coming as i discussed earlier this year for the first time since thomas jefferson was president billions of 13 year cicadas and billions of 17 year cicadas will emerge from the ground simultaneously that's the spirit, that's the spirit so, we just uh, read. yep that's a plague so what Most is it cicada Yes, I'm sorry. No, you got it, Marar. I'm looking something up. There you oh. go. Them shits look like locusts. Damn, them shits are huge. huge. Can you imagine a million of those shits flying at you? Damn. <laughs> you know? Are they right on your house somewhere? That's a plague, man. That's a sign. All right? Oh, those are, oh wow. They said they're not related, but we're taking it spiritually. It says cicada. Yeah. So, it, but but this is a plague of of insects, you know. Right. And and do What do cicadas do? Oh, do cicadas eat crops? Okay, it says it doesn't. Plague of locusts. Okay, so what is the what? What can cicadas do? You know, what do they do? 
But guess what? The Lord can have it to where they can't eat. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, can't put your box in a china box. Right. You know, that, that's Google. That's what Esau say. The Lord can do anything. Right. <laughs> right. So what are they coming here for then? That's a sign of that's, that's a sign of Esau's end. That's a sign. Yep. Yeah. I got I got a quick precept. It says they prune mature trees, erate the soil. Once they die, their bodies serve as an important source of nitrogen for a growing tree. So that's a, a renewal. Mm -hmm. So this plague is representing a renewal of the earth. You know? Well, that's what the nukes are going to do. Cleanse and renew and refresh. Right. You know? right. right. Which Babylon will be uninhabitable. You know, that's good. That's a given. You know? You're right. It says the name Cicada is primarily a female name of Greek origin that means loud insect of the night wow, of the night <laughs> well, that remind me of the nukes what's that what's that ref nine we, we were reading it describes it as uh insects yeah you know yeah and the wormwood yeah that's right uh, just finishing off it says uh uh, second Ezra 15 and 11, I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. That's a plague. That's a plague. It says, um, and since you want to worship the moon or the sun, I'm going to cover it up. Right. Since you wanted to have an astrologer control your presidency, uh, you know, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to confound you with it. And it says, and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn. And the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. Not just growing. <clears throat> Since I came to the truth, I've been hearing about a former apocalypse. How much more now? Yeah. You know, and, and Mr. Kill Bill is buying up all the farmland. If not mm -hmm. him, then Moab is. Yep. You know, and if you don't want to get down and put their seeds in the ground, their devil seeds, then they put an insurmountable death on you, which you can't pay. And then they take your farm anyway. Yep. It's called uh, business cycling, which it's all by design uh, through the monetary system. Um, you know, it's uh, the opposite of deflation. I'll put it to you like that. That's what the that's what happened in 2008, you know, with the recess, you know, the recession. Right. right. That's that's that whole happened because of the housing market. And guess who uh, got Babylon out of that uh, problem under Obama's presidency? The um the feds bought eight hundred million dollars worth of debt from Americans when they caused Americans to get put in debt. Damn. So that's coming all over again, man. The whole middle class is done, just like that. Uh, uh you subscribed to the vid. You saw what happened when you watched the vid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It took the whole middle class out. This thing's about to go down, man. Yeah. And the only people gonna be standing is Taco Bell. You saw demolition, man. Yep. yep. Come the co the corporate commercial companies, yep. Amazon, Walmart. Yep, and that's all going to be what e-commerce. Yep, no more physical currency because the the what do they yeah. call it? Sciatas. Yeah, yep. yeah. And speaking of no more physical currency now, um, um, now uh, Amazon they ha they have uh, amped up the uh, the palm payment. Uh, now you can register the, the palm payment at home, and you know, all you got to do is just send a photo of your hand. To the Amazon system, and boom! Now you link to the system. This nigga gonna send a drone to your house, and you just gonna give it a high five. Yeah, <laughs> you're right though. It's bio. Oh, and, and speaking of bio, right now Kuwait got the whole city gone mad to register under a, a bio registration. Come on, man. Three a three month grace period, uh, two months ago. So this wow. shit's about to happen, man. This was yeah. Look, nigga, you better you better touch the Terminator. Look, this Terminator right here. Yeah, that is. That's it. See? Here's a video right here of the people tripping. Look at this. Look at the people wilding. Wow. They're all trying to get registered under the bio. Wow. Look at this, Marar. Panic digs in an expat gate crash for the bio without any date. So they, they're rushing to get uh, registered biometrically. Look at them pushing them through the door. This is in Kuwait right now. So Man. now imagine Americans. They're already rude as F. Now imagine, right. well, you can't eat. You can't eat. He said, and I hope when you sleep, you can eat. <laughs> right? right? This shit about to happen here, Man. Man. Look at them. Now imagine this in Babylon. So with everything happening, oh my gosh. 
and Bill, you going Bill Gates, the face of the farms. He's controlling everything. The food. <clears throat> Man, I call Lloyd out by Shimmy. I was shy. Right, let's get a yep. couple more. Um, I wanted to get X two Peter Sermon, and um, was that in the article? That was pretty. Much yeah, cool. that was it. Yeah, I would get X two, and uh, you know, I like to read down the loop twenty one, and I believe it's like thirty four. You want to get X two first, and then loop, or finish? Yeah, loop? get ended end off loop. Okay, this is the book of X two, and verse uh seventeen. Sixteen. 16. 16, Acts 2 and 16. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, said the Most High, I'll pour out, my, pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. Right, and that's and what's you, happening. You know, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is pouring out his spirit of prophecy, all right, to prophesy, to say something before it happens, this, you know, and that's what we do. You know, we can't help it. But it says in Revelation that the spirit of Yahweh Shai, excuse me, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So mm -hmm. that's just the Holy Spirit, man. You know? And it says, uh, and your and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall shall dream dreams. And you have you all know? over the world, you have people having dreams about the third world, people having dreams about the rice device, people having dreams about getting beheaded. About the second coming of the Lord, about the Lord's name, you know, this thing is real. Verse eighteen, and on my servants and on my handmaid uh, maidens, I will pour pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will shoot wonders in heaven above, and signs of the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood. Before that great and notable day of the Lord, you have a shot come. Right. So so before the Lord come, this is what's going to happen. There will be solar eclipse. There will be lunar eclipse. There will be there will be blood moons. There will be uh, seven planets aligned, which never happened since 80 years ago. <laughs> so Esau, what is what is what is uh, time in 26 billion years ago, you know, and it's, spiritual, and it's spiritual that is happening, starting in Jerusalem and it's going east. Sluggy, brother. Jake just excited. I got something for you. Go ahead. It says, in, in New Jersey, Wiccans and witches see spiritual power in solar eclipse. Oh, shit. So what does that tell you for the elites? Right. Look, real quick, I just want to show you. Look at this. 17 minutes ago, brothers. In New Jersey, Wiccan and witches see spiritual power in solar eclipse. Wow. See? So it makes sense. They got something planned, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. This ain't you got it. And I was gonna say, yeah, any plan with CERN, you know, I may you how about Shimmy Oshai scared the shit out of them, man. Yes, man, that's real. Let some yes. of the demons come loose, man. Oh, yeah. and what, what's this new thing that been happening? Demon face syndrome. Shit's about to get real bad out here, man. It's gonna get spooky. Real spooky, spooky season. Yeah. You got that in Luke. This is uh Luke chapter 21, and and finishing off starting off at 20. Seven. Oh, it uh, says, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. That's how it shall return uh, that fathership. They go to 20, Bob Kershaw. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. Can you start at verse 20? Yes. This is a uh, book 21 and verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Right. So Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, right? Right, the, the Israelites, whether they acknowledge they're an Israelite or not, they're in Babylon the Great, which is America, they are Jerusalem, right? Now, they've been letting people up through the border, military aged men who we believe are UN troops in disguise. Okay, since the 19, they've been moving MRAPs, tanks, vehicles, things of this nature. Why they had you kept in your house? So, what do you little do you know? Jerusalem is compassed about with, with armies, mm. okay? Well, because this was speaking literally back then. Right now, this is literally going into 70 AD, but we can apply some of it to now. Right. Okay? The scripture does say camp against or around about, you know. That's true. And remember, Yahweh Shai said, uh, he that has wisdom uh, is what the prophet Daniel saith. Right. Remember, Yahweh Shai used a prophecy that already came to pass to talk about 70 AD. Yep. So we can't we can't use this wise man's sayings more than once. Living water. 
It's living water. The woman at the well couldn't get it because she was a heathen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it goes in to say, verse um, 21, then let, then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains and let them which are in the midst of it depart, depart out and let not them that are in the countries enter th there into. Mm. Right. Now, that was clearly talking about 70 AD because people would come down from the Passover to see family, you know, the Feast of First Fruits, Pentecost. They would go to see the temple, you know. But right now, people are going to flee to the mountains again because what, what, what are they telling you? Get out of the city, you know. So it's nothing new under the sun. Yeah. For these, uh, for these be well, you you getting ready to have all these people under the sun looking at a great sign, right? You know, while well, Esau gonna have a cauldron dropping children's eyes and black kettles and shit. Blood. You know, being a weirdo like he is, this thing is happening, man. They're about to do major uh, sacrificing to establish an attempt of a new world order. Don't be surprised if some major um, uh, uh, figures end up dropping dead. You know. Right. And it says, verse 22, for these be the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. We're in a time, oh. hey, bro, we're in a time where he's going to change society and you're going to have to accept it. He's going to just change what he's telling you on the news, on the radio. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a new reform on a societal level and you're going to have to conform to it. Yep. You know? But that's why the scriptures say, you know, that we can't conform to this world. Yeah. You know, because because when that uh that see it comes, you know, hey, uh, scriptures like Romans thirteen, you know, hey, that's not about to be applied because th that, that's talking about the laws of the land, you know. But when scriptures like that, you know, come to mind, hey, we're not about to take that see hit, you know. And it says, but you had a point, Mara. Uh, no, I was gonna say going back to the scripture says that all things which are written may be fulfilled. So this mm -hmm. is that generation that's going to see it, man. Right. You know, we're actually gonna see these people out here. They don't have the they gonna have the karagma, man. We're gonna see them change the demons totally take over control of them. Shit's gonna get real spooky out here. Very spooky. Verse 22. Oh, excuse me, 23. But woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land. And rather upon this people. Right, because cool. we've seen the video with the woman in the military. She says she got the you know the rice device and she wanted to get her child it, you mm -hmm. know. And then and the beautiful part for us is the brothers, um, you know, they're the the woman that of the elect, the Lord said he's gonna deliver the woman and child. Yep. But we're but now we know this was talking about 70 AD, but even applying now, there will be issues with uh, uh, the family unit and trying to survive. Yeah. You know, his whole agenda is to attack uh, the family. And it says, verse 24, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the, of the Gentiles be fulfilled and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. Well, that's major. It says trodden down by the Gentiles. So who's that talking about for Christians to say he died for the Gentiles and Apostle Paul and the Gentiles? This talk about the Romans coming in, Yep. you know, and now this is the time of the Gentiles being fulfilled. You had your moment. You've had your little season. It says, remember, he was given a little season. Yep. Little Caesar. Yeah. Little mm -hmm. Nicky got his little Caesar, you know. So we're, we're at the time now of a, a great separation going back. There's a line drawn in the sky now. And so whose side you on? So he's so that sign, that line is to mark his uh, the finish line. Right. That's it. You've reached it. You've reached your, your point of no return. That's it. Yeah. It was says he got bounced. He can't pass. Yeah, that's it. The triumph of the wicked is short and both for a moment. That's it, bro. He don't got no more left. So that's why he's amping up on the left hand side because right. he's trying to borrow more time mm -hmm. you know verse 25 and it says and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves warring men's hearts feeling there for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth right because what's happening on the earth is something people have never been seen man you know yeah. nuclear, nuclear destruction you know uh uh, the how about Shemuel Shai showing his power? Most I hasn't shown his power in thousands of years, you know. 
but it's undeniable that this eclipse is a work of the most high. All right. Mm, that's right. And it says, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And that cloud is talking about a so-called UFO. All right. So these are second, man, we're about to witness some amazing things, man. All right. Hey, so just keep looking up. Verse 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads. For your redemption, draw of nine. Right, so they're looking up at the solar eclipse, right, being dismayed at the signs of heaven, going back to Jeremiah 10. But we're looking up like, oh, shit, how shot coming? So we're looking for a more and more chariot sightings. We're looking more. We're looking to see more and more chariots and signs from the Lord, man. The, the Yahweh Hashem is speaking in the earth. And he spake to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees, when they, when when they now shoot forth, ye see and know your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. Right. When April, we're not too far away from summer. Right. It's right around the corner. So likewise, ye, when ye see these things come to pass, ye know that the kingdom of the Most High is nigh at hand. Ooh. Right. The brother showed the article, what's going on in Kuwait with the biometrics. We show you the article about the planets aligning. The cage is coming out the ground. The great Babylonian eclipse. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. Many, many tickle. Many, many tickle. So therefore, repent. Seek Yahweh Hashem El Shai ten times more while he may yeah. be found. Yeah. And it says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Mm. So people going to see it. Man. People scoffed at us, scoffed at our apostles, called us this, that, you know, offended us. You're going to see it, man. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall not pass away. That's it. You know, and brothers want to add something? Uh I'm a, you, you want me to keep going to verse 34, right? Um, yeah, go ahead. That's uh, verse 34, and it says, and take heed to yourselves, lest that any time your hearts be overcharged with uh, 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 surfeiting. surfeiting surfeiting the water and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. Mm. Well, that's what Esau wants to do. And that's why he's increased the slavery. You know, i.e. The, the dollar collapse. You got to work two and three jobs, you know, spending more time at work. You, you're tired. But fuck this place, man. At the end right. of the day, the place is falling. Right. You know, and Yahweh Hashem El Shai is going to make sure that his servants eat, drink, and they have what they need. And that's also um, be aware of that demon of the cares of this life. Oh, yeah. You know, it'll creep up on you. It'll do it in creep. It'll do it in sneaky ways, like things that you got to do as a man. But you got to make sure that that doesn't uh, spill over to your your first job and foremost, right? Which is which is the work. You know, like damn, we 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 doing what we got to do as men, but we're we're servants first. You know, so just be aware of this. You know, family members, women, girls, children, jobs. Be aware of all that stuff. That stuff is. Is always trying to creep, uh, creep in further to pull you away from the altar. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yep. So just be mindful. You know. That's it. Yep. Hey, with that, you know, we pray this has been edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. You know, we'll give double honors unto our apostles and elders, the great millstone. Shalom to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.